you can draw this and procreate. During this super easy beginner level procreate drawing tutorial, I will guide you through the steps of creating this lovely landscape. We'll be using procreate standard brushes. So they are all free brushes that are already in the app. And of course you don't need any experience with drawing or with procreate. I will guide you through every single step. And I'm sure that by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a great piece of art. And if you are going to share it, and if you're sharing it on Instagram, then tag me in the image, not just in the description, because that way I will be able to find your work and then maybe we will see it in the next video. Just check out these amazing results from my dear friends at Patreon. If you are new to this channel, Patreon is the place you can go if you want to watch even more Procreate tutorials, because I have more than 150 there. The tutorials come with special brushes and they range from beginner level to more advanced levels. Now for this tutorial, we're working on a canvas that is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels, color profile set to sRGB and the color palette is linked in the description. And then if you are ready, let's get started. Let's start off by dragging in a color for our background. We'll start off with this one over here, third color in the first row. Let's drag it in. And then let's make a new layer on top of this one. Let's tap the plus. And then for our brush, we will use the script brush, which is part of the calligraphy brushes in Procreate. And then for our color, we'll grab this one. First color in the second row. And the opacity of the brush should be at 100%. And I have the size set to 12%. And now along the center line, along that middle point of our canvas, we will create like a little hill, hilly shape, wobbly line from left to right. And then you can drag in the color underneath. Then we'll make another layer. We'll tap the plus and we'll switch to the next color. That's the second color in the second row. And then we'll make another hilly shape. Let's start here in the center and make a shape like this. We'll go up, wobbly line, back down and back up. And then over here, we'll make the bottom part. And we'll also go back to the left a little bit and then all the way to the right and then drag in the color. And we'll start here and make another wobbly line and we'll go and connect it with this one. And I'll make another shape here and this will be like the start of our river shape. Let's go back to the left and then drag in the color. Now, if you need to adjust this river shape a little bit, what you can do is just tap and hold the eraser to make it switch to that script brush. And you can set the size to like 15%. And then you can adjust it a little bit, make a bit more of an indent until you have something that you like. And of course you can also go back to the brush in case you want to paint a little part back in. And the same goes for the hilly shape, of course. You can go along the edge, but you can also use the eraser if you want to get rid of some parts. This is what makes digital art so flexible. Now let's make another layer on top of this one. Let's tap the plus, then move on to the next color, the third color in the second row. And again, let's start here. Make another hilly shape. Over here, let's go above. And then over here, we'll make a shape like this. Go all the way to the left. And then over here, let's start here. Make another wobbly shape, go up here. And then here we'll make that underside like this. Then drag in the color. And perhaps you need to make some adjustments Maybe we can make these hills a little bit higher. Drag in the color again. And again, you can use the eraser to tweak some parts. Maybe make this a little bit more straight. And you can go back and forth between the brush and the eraser just some parts. I want to use the eraser to get rid of a little part here. Add some width to our river. 
And then we'll move on to the next layer. We'll tap the plus again and we'll move on to the next color, which is the fourth color in the second row. And then let's start here. Make a shape like this. Go back to the left. And then another one over here will start below this shape. Make a wobbly shape. Go up here. And then for that bottom part, okay, let's wobble our way to the right. And then drag in the color to fill these shapes. You're doing great. We're getting a nice river shape here. Let's make another layer. Let's tap the plus. But then let's grab the next color, which is the fifth color in the second row, a nice dark blue. Let's start here and go down here. Make a shape like this. Then back to the left. And then we can make some extra parts like this sticking out. Create an interesting shape here. Perhaps another shape like this. Then drag in the color in all these areas. And then let's make another shape start about here. Go up. And then that underside. Just something like this. And of course you can adjust it. Again, you can use the eraser, tweak some parts, drag in the color. I'll grab my eraser, fix this a little bit. Perhaps make this a bit more crisp. And then finally, let's add another layer. Let's tap the plus and then we'll switch to the last color in the second row, which is slightly darker. And then we'll make another hilly shape over here. You can barely see it, but it's there. And then drag in the color. All right, now let's move back to our sky. Let's go to this layer over here, layer one. Now let's tap the plus. And then for our color, we'll grab this one over here. Sixth color in the first row. And for our brush, we will use the monoline brush. It has a crisp edge, just like the script brush. But with this brush, you get like, well, a monoline. It doesn't get thinner or thicker if you use more or less pressure. Now the opacity should be at 100%. I have the size set to 30%. And now we are going to draw a circle. So draw a circle, hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape. Hold your pen on the screen and then hold one finger on the screen as well to get a perfectly round circle. Create something like this and then drag in the color. Now we can go to the move and transform tool, a little arrow here and move this downward a little bit. And pretty much in the center of our canvas. Now let's go to the layer menu, slide to the left, tap duplicate, then go to the bottom layer We'll go to the magic wand here to the adjustments menu and go to Gaussian blur. Now you can slide to the right on your screen with your pen or your finger. And we're going to add a slight blur. Let's go for 17%. Now let's also add a gradient to our sky. Let's go to layer one. Then let's grab a soft brush under airbrushing the top one. And for the color, let's grab this one. Second color in the first row. The opacity of this brush is at 70% and let's set the size to 15%. And now let's go over the top area very gently, creating a gradient here from pink to orange. Now let's grab an even brighter pink, this one, first color in the first row. And let's add that to the top. Now to soften this gradient even more, what you can do is go to the magic wand and then to Gaussian blur and then slide to the right just slightly to soften it. Let's set it to 20%. Next, let's add some cloud shapes to our sky. Let's tap the plus for a new layer. 
For a brush, we'll go back to the calligraphy brushes and use the script brush. And then for our first color, let's let's stick with this pink actually, with this first color in the first row. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller, set it to 5%. Now we are going to make some very random shapes. Just wiggly lines, slightly diagonal. Diagonal shapes. Just something like this. And another one over here. And it's fading a bit. It's hard to see as you move on top of the pink area. But that's okay. Drag in the color. Let's make another shape here. Just a very random wonky wobbly shape drag in the color then we'll move to this color fourth color in the first row nice yellowish color create some more shapes with that drag in the color let's create another one over here And over here, nice wispy shape. Drag in the color. Maybe some thin ones over here. Now let's move to this color third color in the first row and we'll use that on top here in the more pinkish area drag in the color and then finally we'll use this color fifth color in the first row for some light pink clouds here at the top Nice wobbly shape, and one here. Drag in the color, and then let's lower the opacity. Let's go to the layer menu, tab the N, and lower the opacity to, well, let's say 60%. For the next step, let's add some trees to our scene. Let's start on this layer, layer four. We need that color that we used there, so we can just tap and hold our finger on the screen to grab that color. Let's make the brush bigger again, 12%. And then over here, let's draw a tree shape. We'll start with a wiggly shape like this for a main branch. And then we'll make multiple side branches and the other side of the trunk. We can close the shape and make more and more branches. And as you move towards the outside, try using less pressure on your pen so that you get thinner lines. Make them nice and curvy. So you'll get something like this. Then for the leaves, let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's set it to maybe 40%. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. Now we are going to make these horizontal dabs on top of each other to create a very stylized tree crown right on top of these branches. Now let me just save this size for the next tree. Let's tap the slider, then tap the plus so you can save it. And now let's move on. Let's move on to the next layer, layer five. We need that color so you can tap and hold. 
now let's make a tree over here. Let's first make the brush smaller. 12% again, otherwise we get a very thick three. So let's make a line like this for our first branch. And then another one over here. Make a nice curved trunk. I'm just going to color it in by hand. make a bunch of side branches. Especially near the top, add more branches there. So near the bottom you'll have those very thick, thick branches and then as you move up they get thinner and you get more of them. Make them intersect. So it should look something like this. Then let's make the brush bigger again. Let's use the 40% size. And then let's make those horizontal dabs again. And create a nice shape for our tree crown. So short horizontal dabs. You can also make a few over here, covering some of those branches, perhaps here. And you can slowly add more of these leaves, build that shape. I think this looks good. Now let's make another one on this side. Let's make one. Well, let's first make the brush smaller again, 12%. And now let's first make a branch again. And this tree will be on the side. You won't be able to fully see it. But we will see some branches here. And don't worry, your tree doesn't have to look the exact same as mine. Just make a variety of branches, thinner ones near the top. And some nice curvy ones. And then make the brush big again, 40%. And then we'll add those leaves. All right, very nice. Let's make another tree on this layer, layer six. First, we'll make our brush small again, set it to 12%, then grab the color. And then let's make a tree over here. Another one with thick branches. One like this. It's, it's bigger since it's in the foreground. Well, it's not really bigger but it will appear bigger it'll look bigger since it's closer to the viewer make these nice wiggly shapes to create an interesting form an interesting shape for your tree And make the branches thinner as you move up. Now 
Lots of branches here near the top. But I'm using very, very light pressure. Now let's add some leaves again. Let's make the brush big again, 40%. And let's fill the top area. I do need to cover some of those branches that I have created. That's okay. Perhaps a few here, covering those branches. Very nice. Now I'd also like to add some grass and some interest to the water here. Let's make a layer underneath this one. So first we'll tap layer five, then we'll tap the plus. Then we'll make the brush smaller again. We'll set it to 12%. And then let's add some grassy parts. Just these long lines to create some of these patches of grass or reed. But perhaps also some little rocks. So just create some of these like horizontal dabs. It'll add some interest to the water here. Some more grassy parts, maybe some in the water. And along this area. Maybe some more rocks and some grass here. Use very light pressure. If you if you're having a hard time using light pressure, then just make your brush a little bit smaller. I think this looks good. Now let's change the color of the water. Let's go to this layer, layer two. And then let's grab the soft brush again, which you can find under airbrushing. And then for the color, we'll grab this one. First color in the third row. And let's go over this lower area. Make multiple strokes to turn that blue. Then let's switch to the second color in the third row for a darker blue. I like to use that over here to make the foreground a little bit darker. So go for something like this. And perhaps we can make the middle area a bit more orangey. Let's grab the third color in the first row. And then let's go over this area, add a bit of that glow like that. Then for some reflection of our sun, let's go to the luminance brushes and use the light brush. I think we can stick with this color I have the brush set to 100% opacity and the size is at 5%. And let's make some horizontal strokes here to create some of that glow from the sun on the water. I think something like this looks perfect. Now let's continue working on our layers with our hill shapes. Let's first go to this layer. Let's turn on alpha lock on this layer. Let's tap it, turn on alpha lock. Then we'll grab the soft brush under airbrushing. And then for our color, let's grab this one. First color in the first row. And then let's add very slight pinkish glow here, right along the underside. Then let's move on to the next layer, layer four. Here as well, let's turn on alpha lock and then let's switch to the script brush again under calligraphy. And then for our color, we will grab this one over here. Third color and the third row. Size is still 12%. And now we are going to add some interest to these 
to these rocks, to these hilly shapes. We're just going to add some wiggly shapes, some wiggly lines, for instance, on the tree. And we're keeping it very simple. It just adds some very stylized texture to this area. We'll do the same on this side. Along that edge. Here as well. And then a line on this little hill with some parallel lines. Keep it simple. And now let's also add a little glow here. Let's grab that soft brush under airbrushing. And let's let's stick with this color and add a gentle glow here as well. All right, then let's move on to the next layer. Layer five, first tap it, turn on alpha lock. And then for our brush, we will go back to the script brush. And for the color, we will grab this one fourth color and the third row. And here as well, we are going to add some wiggly lines following those shapes a bit and adding an interesting texture. You can vary between long wiggly lines and some shorter ones. Make some parallel lines, add some lines to the trees. It can be a bit wavy. A few here. And then on the other side as well. And you can see that when you have alpha lock turned on, of course, you can go outside of the shape, so you can easily go along some edges without messing anything up. This looks good. Now let's move on to layer six here. Tap it, turn on alpha lock. By the way, you can also slide to the right with two fingers on your layer to turn on alpha lock. You'll know that alpha lock is turned on when you see that little checkerboard pattern. Then let's move on to the fifth color in the third row. And then we'll work on this layer. I hope you can see it on camera. The color difference is a bit more subtle, but I'm pretty sure you should see it on your own iPad. And some wavy lines. And a variation of shorter and longer lines. And then the other side, of course, we'll want to add a nice edge to that tree and some curvy lines, adding that suggestion of tree bark. Some nice lines here. Going along that shape and then curving down or over here, following the shape a bit. So you have a nice, interesting texture here. Now we'll do the same thing, but well, 
more subtle for our next layer, layer seven. Let's tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then we'll choose this last color in the third row and add a few lines here as well, which I hope you can see. Just a few to add that interest there as well. Finally, I want a little reflection on our water. Let's go to uh, this layer, then let's make a layer on top. Let's tap the plus and let's just choose our script brush. And I don't need this to be a perfect reflection. I'll just eyeball it, go along that shoreline, loop around, close the shape and then drag in the color and do the same over here. Close the shape, drag in the color. Then grab this color and go along this area and over here. Close the shape, drag in the color and over here as well. So pretty simple not a perfect copy. You do need to make sure that your shapes are closed before you drag in the color. And then let's lower the opacity. Let's tab the end, slide to the left, and let's set it to like 53%. Now for a final touch, we can add some birds to the scene. Let's go to our sky layer. Actually, we can merge these all together. Let's pinch them. Then let's tab the plus. For our color, let's grab this one, fourth color in the second row. And with our script brush, we can make some very simple birds. Just use pressure in the center a little bit and then less pressure as you move out. So that the tips of the wings are very thin. Just in the center, it would be a little bit bigger. That's where the body is. So very basic birds. Vary the angle of the wings a little bit. So that some are more like straight, almost horizontal, and some have their wings more like in an upward position. Make them very small here in front of the sun. Very little pressure. Maybe a few here. Maybe spread out a little bit. Let's see. I think this looks good. The only thing this might just need is a slight glow of our sun on our hills here. So let's go to layer two, grab our soft brush under airbrushing, then the color that we used for the sun, the sixth color in the first row. And let's just gently go over here, round of motion like this. It's a slight little touch, but I like it. I hope you have enjoyed following this tutorial. If you would like to turn this into a Procreate drawing streak, then I think you might like this tutorial next. Don't forget to share your work. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next tutorial.